This neo-Romanesque building of Portland stone was designed by Thomas Drew. Work began on the cathedral in 1899, and a further seven architects were involved with the building throughout the 20th century. The cathedral was built on the site of the old parish church. The church was not immediately demolished, but kept in use until 1903, while the cathedral nave grew up around it. In the recess of the north transept stands a giant Celtic cross. The west front was created as a war memorial after the Great War. The portals are by Morris Harding. The tympana are by Esmond Burton and depict from left to right the crucifixion, Christ in glory, and the resurrection. The 250-foot stainless steel Spire of Hope was installed in 2007 to celebrate the centenary of the nave consecration. Inside the cathedral, you will find the work of Rosamund Prager, Morris Harding and the Martin sisters. Harding spent 12 years working inside the cathedral on his seven nave columns, including these capitals representing linen, music, science and shipbuilding. Gertrude and Margaret Martin, whose previous work includes the Houses of Parliament, spent four years creating the mosaics in the cathedral. Their work includes the creation mosaic in the baptistry, the seraphim ceiling and St. Patrick mosaic of the Chapel of the Holy Spirit. Rosamund Prager's work includes the heads of the children above the font in the baptistry, a number of capitals on the nave columns and the In the Shadow of a Rock panel relief. The cathedral also contains the regimental chapel of the Royal Irish Rangers and Royal Irish Regiment and the grave of Sir Edward Carson, leader of the Ulster Unionists during the Home Rule Crisis. Our next stop is the Belfast Newsletter, which is further down Donegal Street, after the Talbot Street Junction. <laughs>